Okay, it's that time of the show where we get to talk to Bryant from Christie Sports, and we have details on a full lineup in the Solomon line of skis, the Quest line, the QST line. QST. Right? They changed yeah. it a little bit. Yeah. They shortened it up. Just a, just a little bit. A little more efficient. <laughs> How's everything going? Good? It's going good. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, what a couple of weeks this has been. It's been awesome. I mean, honestly, two and a half, three weeks of powder every day, and now sunshine. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking forward to a deck day. Maybe a little sooner than normal, but... It's okay. I could use it's one. It's a good day for it. Yeah. Um, so the Solomon line, the Quest series, mm -hmm. I feel like they're all good for a little bit of everything, but they each have a specific purpose too. But you can take them anywhere, if, right? I mean, this particular ski is not designed for front side only. If you're a good skier, you can ski them anywhere. Yeah, I mean, it's a great line of all mountain skis. Right, all mountain. Um, yep. You know, they do <clears throat> come in different waist widths, and that's what's going to really determine the different ski. So we have two ladies' skis here mm -hmm. first, the Quest Lumens. Tell us about them. Yeah, so the Lux and the Lumen here. The Lux is at 92 underfoot, so maybe a little more traditional, what you're used to, okay. um, not too wide. At 99, here in Colorado, that's like the everyday driver. That's I mean, the it's, perfect number. Yeah, it's total, total, uh, just great all-mountain ski. Um, it's what most of us are going to be cruising around on because it can do a little bit of everything, you know? And that's that millimeter weights width mm -hmm. underneath the foot that, that the dimension of this area right here correct okay yeah I mean, you know wider platforms gonna be better in soft snow it's also gonna be able to kind of push through some of the setup stuff okay once it does get pushed around so that's a 99 what's this one a 92 92 okay maybe a little better front side performance a little quicker and these are good for for all levels of skiers right for yeah skiers? most okay. definitely uh solomon dialed it in this year and has Skis that can handle anything. Okay. So, yeah. so the two ladies, the mm -hmm. Quest Lumens. Now let's pull out a couple of the guys' skis. Give yeah. me one sec here. Let me grab this first one. This is the QST, once again, a 92. Yep. And this 92, is a guy's version. 92 underfoot. Um, we've got some metal in here, so it's going to be a little bit stiffer, a little firm, um, and hold that edge when you need it to. Um, you know, but with, with this shovel, I mean, you can go anywhere. This shovel right here, meaning. Mm -hmm. The flotation you're going to get if you're in the crud or the chund or any of that other off-piece snow. Yeah, for sure. Right? For sure. Okay, so this is 92 underfoot. Yep. Then we get into a little bit wider. This one goes to a 99 underfoot, just like that wider lumen for the ladies. Yeah, 99 <clears throat> QST. Um, once again, at 100, that's like the new norm, right? The Bronco scene. Scene. Look at that. There you go. No, right. Go ponies. <laughs> Go ponies. <laughs> and then one more, the 106 QST. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, 106, a little bit wider, a little bit better backside performance in some of the deeper stuff or untracked. Um, but what's, what's really cool about this ski is for its width, it's really lightweight. So if you wanted to throw a two-ring setup on here, it'd be a great ski for it. You can go. If you out. want to throw what now? Explain that an AT setup, a touring yeah, setup. So what does that mean for people? It's going to be a binding that allows you to release your heel and so you can skin. So that means being able to go up the hill first, Correct. get the exercise, yeah. going up the hill. You can attach the, the skins on the bottom, mm -hmm. which are? Which, so it's just it's a nylon material with kind of a directional hair pattern to grab that snow and let you pull yourself up. Um, and I mean, it's just a great way to get out and experience, you know. Yeah the outdoors around here. And then you lock your heel down, then you can ski it like a traditional alpine ski coming yeah, down the hill. Yeah, earn those turns. Earn those turns. Yep. Hey, so you've been down at SIA, the Ski Industries mm -hmm. of America trade show down in Denver, <laughs> and, um, at, and you've had a chance to kind of gander at some of the new things coming our way. Are we all excited again for next year? Oh, is it, I mean, is it always ever changing? It's always ever changing, and it's always it's kind same. of the same. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if there's anything, it's building hype. I mean, and that's just, it's so cool to be a part of, and there's some cool stuff. You see some interesting people, yeah. you know? And oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's you get to go time. out and have some great food and yep. socialize a little bit. Yep, you know it. Is that still going on right now? Uh, yeah, it'll be going on through Sunday, and then uh, Monday and Tuesday are the On Snow demos. Oh, that's over right. So you guys can go and try the new QST yeah. line even for next year. Yeah, go ask Dave. He'll hook you up. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to see you, buddy. Me too. Nice to see you. So what are we doing next, do you know? Uh, we're going to Ken. Yeah, Ken's up on the mountain. He's doing some weather for us. Uh, you heard it. Ken's got weather coming up next.